We're here with Kathleen King, who's done um, a lot of artwork throughout the West. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your art and where people can find some, see some of your art that you've done? Well, uh, I started out as a muralist. Okay. Uh, the first public piece I did was in Pacific Beach. Okay. In uh, 1988 to commemorate the Pacific Beach Centennial. All right. And uh, there's also a very large piece in uh, the center of downtown that's also uh, downtown an exterior San downtown Diego. San Diego. Okay. And um, uh, there's also a piece in Golden Hill. Okay. Uh, and then the rest inside homes and restaurants and that sort of thing from all right um, so you're here in Colorado Springs and you're working on a painting for the new Carmichael building can you Carmichael training building can you tell us a little bit about the painting and how you how he found how he chose you I suppose the most fascinating thing about how all of this came together is that uh, Chris Carmichael found me on Twitter uh, okay. Which still boggles my mind <laughs> how that happened because um, I, I was uh, very resistant <laughs> to Twitter and it kind of turned out uh, being one of my best friends and I just got an email one night uh, from Chris saying that he uh, looked at my portfolio on my website uh, because it was there listed on the Twitter account. Right. And he wanted to know if I had ever done any uh, cycling art and if I would be interested. Uh, I mean, how funny is this? I'm a complete cycling fanatic and I've got Chris Carmichael asking me if right. I'd like to do any artwork about <laughs> cycling. That's right. No, no, not at all. <laughs> so uh, I, of course, was thrilled and uh, literally jumping up and down <laughs> when, yeah. I, when I got that email. <laughs> Understandably. Yeah, so this has just been a, a joy from, from the very first moment. Excellent. And then the task of trying to um, encapsulate <laughs> the enormity of the tour and it on one canvas and people come and they see this canvas and it's 13 by 8 feet and people say what a large canvas and first off compared to a lot of my projects especially the exteriors it's actually quite a small piece and to depict everything about the tour and all 106 years um, since the first uh, race that's daunting right so the first hurdle really was composition. How do I fit in the, the scope of the, the history and the writers and the fans and all of the personal stories and... And still make it visually appealing and absorbable. Right, and, and still have it be a piece of art rather than um, a, a sort of visual instructional aid. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, right. Here's 1903 and here's 2009. Right. Um, so it's a large canvas and you're working under deadline. How do you find, do, do you make it a priority to ride or how do you find the time to get outside and spend time with your bike? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> that has not been easy. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with getting accustomed to the area. Um, okay. I'm staying in a beautiful cabin uh, on Cheyenne Mountain here, and it's idyllic. Right. I mean, it, out, out my door every day is, is breathtaking, right down to the, the rushing stream <laughs> in front of the house. Um, but uh, getting down Getting down the mountain to ride, I'm used to a two or three hour ride, you know, four days a week at least, and 
trying to get this done, that's not possible because coming back up the mountain and so forth, I'd love to do a great ride and kick my own butt every day, but then I come home and not have any energy. Yeah, you need to, to you know, devote to, to, to this, and I, I can't just, you know, go on a big ride, have a big meal, and crash, right. <laughs> which right. is what I'm more accustomed to doing. So so the, the fitness is, is taking a bit of a hit, but in the long run, it's worth it. Excellent. Um, and I'm getting a beautiful bike also as part of, oh. as part of this project, so Excellent. Uh, once, I'm, once I'm done, I'll be able to make up for all of that lost time. There you have it. There you have it. Um, that was one thing Chris, Chris insisted on, on, um, on me having a, a custom built bike, which is a, an experience that I have never had. So yeah. for the first time I'll, I'll be on a bike that actually is made to fit me, which is, will be new and fun. In itself is a thrill. Yeah. Do you, what are you getting? Do you... Uh, it's a Sorota. Oh, okay. Excellent. Because uh, Soretta sponsors uh, Carmichael Training Systems. Okay. So, and of course, it's an excellent uh, machine with a fantastic history. Yeah, they have a fabulous reputation in the custom um, bike department. And I get to pick the colors. Excellent. <laughs> Which for me was, <laughs> was the first thing I asked. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to build me a bike, can I pick the paint? And yes, yeah. of course. Do you have so your colors chosen yet? Uh, yes, it will, it will have quite a paint job. Excellent. 